Hi, I'm Ray Sievert with Tracy Technologies. And today we're asking the question, does Angle Alpha matter with Toric IOLs? Most people are, in the industry at least, are now uh, adjusting to the reality that Angle Alpha does matter in uh, multifocal lenses, specifically for dysphotopsies and other things. So specifically, what about Torix? A lot of people say it just doesn't matter. Well, the question is a little bit of a trick question because the answer is yes, it matters. And the answer is no, it doesn't matter. They're both correct depending on the axis of the corneal astigmatism. Allow me to explain. When you look at a with the rule cornea like this and the bow tie is up and down, <clears throat> you have an issue with the steep axis of the cornea being vertical, but the IOL having the power perpendicular. So when you put the dots of an IOL that matches the steep axis of the cornea, you're actually correcting here along that red line. And when you see that, the red cross is the visual axis. The blue cross is the center of the limbus, which is the approximate center of the bag. Conceptually, this cylinder or channel, if you will, of correction, additional correction, connects the dots. So on a with the rule patient, angle alpha doesn't matter that much. How many patients are with the rule? Over 60%. That's why there's a rule. So people say, hey, it really doesn't matter. Angle alpha alignment for torix doesn't matter much. On this type of patient, they're right. However, on an against the rule cornea, the bow tie is actually looks like a bow tie. And so the steep axis of the cornea is here. And when you put the dots of the lens, you're actually correcting in this meridian. The correction is this red line. And now the visual axis being decentered from where the lens is likely to center, the limbal center, all of a sudden that gap is a lot. And on a high angle alpha, 0.891, that's too much to overcome. How much is too much? We don't really know. Some would say 0.5 millimeters. That's a reasonable conservative point, maybe 0.6. But we know at some point, these patients are not going to have a good result. When you have a decentered astigmatism, what high order aberration does it cause? It actually causes coma. The result of coma is blurry vision or double vision. Think about how tragic this would be when you do a perfect surgery with the exact right lens, exactly oriented, orientated to the steep axis of the cornea, and the patient's complaining, blurry vision or double vision. And it's because you didn't notice that on some types of torix, depending on the axis, it can be a problem. Specifically, oblique or against the rule astigmatism, be very wary of high angle alpha. 